Right folks, hello again, welcome back to my channel. And to be honest, I'm really excited about this video. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time now, but for whatever reason, things getting in the way, I've never got around to doing it. It stems back to several months ago in a conversation I was having with my website members about the possibility of me being able to do bow ties in a woodworking project. The big burr oak resin slab I was working on I had a bit of a split going down it and I was unsure whether to add some bow ties to it or not. In the end, I didn't, but the idea is still lingering in my head. Now here's the quandary. Most of the bow ties you see and the techniques that you see for woodworkers out there on YouTube how to do them involve some kind of chiseling. So you might rough out some of the bits with your router and then do the fine work with the chisels on the corners of a traditional bow tie. Now, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. And we've had a lot of new subscribers recently. Uh, I can't do chisel work because I can't do hammering and chiseling because I'm only working with one arm. Now I can do a bit of gouging out chiseling with one hand, but when you're doing something like a bow tie, it needs to be all fine, nice and precise. That's something unfortunately I can't do. But if you follow me for a while, you know I can be a little bit determined about when I get this thing in my head so I'm going, that can't be done. Can it be done? So the conversation with the website members became about, is it possible to do a bow tie as a one-handed woodworker? Um, and I got onto my friend Martin at Chop Designs on Instagram, who makes all the amazing acrylic templates for the charcuterie boards, router plates. He does all kinds of different designs. And I asked him about a certain design, which is looks like this. Now you can call it a dumbbell, you can call it a dog bone, whatever you want to call it. But I thought this might actually be possible only using a router and the bandsaw, no chisel work, to create a strengthening bow tie in a woodworking project. So, yeah. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, Stu Parker from SP Wood Creations who sent me some router guide bushes as a, uh, I was trying to figure out whether this is actually possible or not. But I reached out to my friends at Trend Tool Technology when I realised they actually have what's called uh, an inlay kit. Now this has been gifted to me by Trend, but I'm not sponsored or paid by them. I will have an affiliate link in the description though. So if you're thinking about buying this after, then a small commission will go to the channel, right? That's the legal bit out the way. So what do you get in the inlay kit? Well, quite simply, it's just a guide bush with a little extender thing that goes on the top and a three mil um, spiral bit. So I got my, calipers, I don't know how uh, accurate they are, but the, roughly the smaller guide bush is about 8 mil and the when you put the attachment onto the top, so 8 mil is about a third of an inch and then you put the attachment on to make it wider and that takes it up to about 14 mil which is about half an inch, give or take, do your own research on that one. <laughs> so I'm going to, instead of talking, I'm going to show you the technique that I have worked on to create a bow tie, no chisel work, one-handed style. Okay, enjoy it and I'll catch you at the end.
Right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that little video montage. When I'm making the bow tie things, I always make extra because I will inevitably make some kind of mistake like that. As a proof of concept, I really like it, it's got a lot of potential. Is it perfect yet? No, but I'm working towards that. And I can certainly see myself using it in future projects, particularly some of the large slab work that I've taken on recently. Just a couple of little bits and pieces before we wrap things up. I'd really like to thank my website members first because it was their conversations that actually made this possible when at one point I didn't think it was going to be. Uh, please do not copy my router technique. Um, as you will know, I lost the use of my what was my dominant right arm, so I've been working exclusively, exclusively with my left arm and hand for the last five and a half years now. And I am particularly recently really starting to improve that fine motor skill, that fine motor control. Uh, and it's taken me hours in here, lots and lots of practice. So please don't go copying what I do. Use your able-bodied two-handed router technique, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and just a couple of other things. I'm not doing a Christmas gift wish list um, thing for makers this year, but I did treat myself to a pair of these Bessie MFT clamps when I was at Makers Central, and this is the first time I've actually got around to using them, and oh my goodness, these are amazing. So if you're thinking of treating your other half or, or treating yourself, then I'd certainly recommend them. Uh, in regards to the actual inlay stuff itself, um, if you're thinking about getting the dog bone, dumbbell, whatever you want to call it, uh, inlay kit, um, or sorry, the uh, template, uh, get onto Martin Chops Designs on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, then please, you know, get in touch with me via the comments and I can put you onto Martin. That way, there's also the inlay kit from Trend. I think it's about £32 for the guide bush adapter and for the router bit as well. So that's maybe something you might want to consider trying yourself. Although I'm demonstrating this as a one-handed woodworking technique, I can certainly see... Um, folk who maybe like suffer with conditions like osteoarthritis and they don't like doing chisel work because they're losing some of the grip strength then this might be a suitable alternative if you're thinking of using bolt or you're thinking of using bolt ties in a project so maybe something to worth something to be worth thinking about i'm sure that makes sense in my mind somewhere <laughs> okay as ever folks you know take care look after yourselves uh, i'll see you soon thanks for watching